let's generalize Ito's lemma. So Ito's lemma. So what was Ito's lemma? In this case, we have f is a function of x, and we want to know what is df. And Ito's lemma says that df is df dx dx plus a half second derivative f dx squared dt. All right, so this is what we did last time. This is Ito's lemma. Now we're going to generalize. And so the generalized version, we have f is a function of s, and we know some formula for ds. It'll have some factor of dt plus some other factor of dx. So we have a formula for ds, we have some function over s, and now the question is, what is df? So this is a similar question to the Ito's lemma situation, but it's a little bit more general, So, which is why we're calling it the generalized version of Ito's lemma. So how do we start? So if you remember the, the argument for deriving Ito's lemma, we're going to do a similar type of thing here. It's not entirely mathematically rigorous, but it's a good intuitive explanation. So what do we do? We want to do a Taylor series expansion. So I'll put that in quotes. We want to Taylor expand um, f of s. And so f of s, uh, whoops, f of s plus ds, doing our Taylor expansion, imagining ds is just a small value, will be f of s plus first derivative plus half second derivative plus some higher order stuff. And through an argument, this higher order stuff goes to zero. It's not too hard to believe. All right, so now let's, if you, if you subtra subtract f of s off from both sides, you can see that f of s plus ds minus f of s is kind of like df. And what does that leave us with? That gives df ds ds plus half second derivative. And now we have ds squared. And we have a formula for ds up here. And so now we can multiply out this formula. ds times ds is as squared dt squared plus 2 as bs dt dx plus bs squared dx squared. Now if you think about this, the dx squared, this will go to dt by our you know, little formula, dx squared equals dt, and dt squared is going to be much smaller than dt, so this will go to zero. This can be ignored. And dt dx, this is smaller than dx dx, so this is smaller than dt, so this can also be ignored. That also goes to zero. So what are we left with? Now we're left with df equals df ds ds plus a half we're just left with the b squared term here. So b of s squared, second derivative, ds squared, dt. And there you go. This is the generalized version of Ito's lemma here. Pretty neat. Now let's do some examples. How does this actually connect to finance? So our first example is Brownian motion. with drift. And the formula is ds 
equals mu dt plus sigma dx. So Brownian motion. Brownian motion and drift. Not too surprising. Now, how do we solve this? In this case, we can actually do this directly from the definition of the integral. So if you remember, what does this formula mean? It actually means s of t equals s of 0 plus integral 0 to t mu dt, uh, sorry, d tau plus the random part. And so here we have to do the stochastic integral. So integral of 0 to t of sigma dx tau. And now there's a definition for here. So this, this one here is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from i equals 1 to n of the function times the difference of the x's. So what is the limit as n goes to infinity? This limit here will be x of t minus x of 0 times sigma. Then here, what's this integral? Integral of mu is just mu times t. And then we have the, the constant term. So here we actually use the definition of the integrals and we calculated the, the result. So here's the answer. This is the explicit formula for Brownian motion with drift. You have the starting value, then there's a drift over time, which is just linearly proportional to time. And then however long the motion happened, this volatility will directly uh, add into the Brownian motion there. All right, let's do the second example. Log normal. And this We've seen this equation before. So ds equals mu s mu s dt plus sigma s dx. So this is very similar to the one above here. So mu dt sigma dx we're just adding a factor of s to make it proportional to itself. And this will turn out to give us log normal uh, behavior. So, spoiler. So how do we solve this using the, the tools we have now? So we have an equation for ds. And what we want to do is define a function f of s equals log s. And this is sort of, you know, knowing where what the solution is, we can come up with this formula pretty easily. So it's kind of, you know, a little bit, you have to know what the answer is before you can work out the answer. But assuming you, you're smart enough to guess that this is the right formula, what can we say? So I'm going to do some simple calculations here. What's the derivative? Derivative of log is 1 over s. Second derivative, negative 1 over s squared. And now we can use these facts, and this is exactly the generalized Ito's lemma. So let's look back up here. So the generalized Ito's lemma, you have a, a, a stochastic differential equation for ds. You have a function of s, and you're asking, what is df? That's exactly what we have. We have a differential equation for ds here, and we have a function of s and some facts about it, and now we can use these facts and the generalized Ito's lemma to get the answer. So what is it? So what is df? df equals df ds ds plus a half. And now it was b, so I can write bs squared. And what was that? That's sigma squared s squared and then 
the final part. is second derivative dt. All right, so now let's solve this. So df, so df ds is one over s, then ds, we have a formula. I'm just using the definition up here. And now plus a half sigma squared s squared second derivative is one over negative one over s squared dt now i collect terms together so the s here cancels out the s's here the s squareds cancel here now i collect up all the dt's so I have a mu dt here, I have a negative one half sigma squared dt over here. So I have a mu minus half sigma squared dt. And then what do I have with dx? Just sigma plus sigma dx. And now, if you look at this, you can start seeing that we have something dt sigma dx. If you look at the previous problem, something dt plus sigma dx, this is exactly Brownian motion with drift. Brownian motion with drift. So that's cool. So we, ha we have the answer to this. So remember the answer was s of t equals s0 plus mu t, and then the difference of the random variable here. So now the solution down here will be f of t equals f of 0 plus mu which in this case is really mu minus a half sigma squared times t plus sigma, which is really sigma x of t minus x of zero. And now we have a formula for f. And remember the f is the transformed variable. So we want the formula for s. And so we have to just do the opposite of log, which is exponent. So s of t is s naught times e to the all of this. So mu minus a half sigma squared t plus sigma x of t minus x of 0. And there you go. Here's the solution for log normal. So explicit solution for log normal, we have the explicit solution for Brownian motion with drift, and we generalized Ito's lemma.